Good afternoon, I'm Tonya Rose and welcome to Perfect Fit. This hour is all about getting you into your best shape and joining me today to help you do that is Tosca Reno Kennedy and Christopher Simpson. Christopher is a personal trainer and the owner of Bodies by Design, a fitness studio in Woodbridge. Welcome back to the show, both of you. Hey Tonya, nice to be here. Tonya, <laughs> awesome to be here. <laughs> and let's talk about what you're doing. What are you up to? We're doing lots. Body transformations. That's what we specialize in at Bodies by Design. If I can just show you one of our magazine covers, Inspired to Aspire. I've got some writers across the table today. Yes, <laughs> yes. We're uh, library birds, aren't we? <laughs> As you can see here, before and afters, uh, taking people to the higher life, the life that obviously all three of us know and feel every day. Uh, personal training programs guided. Um, by a coach, a lifestyle coach. And it's a really intricate program that gets people from A to Z and uh, keeps them moving. Yeah. Chris, what about you? What makes you do it? Why are you in this industry? The higher life. I mentioned it already. Life. This is how I get high. I think fitness can cure <laughs> just about anything. I really do believe that, including depression. Let's face it, with our fast-paced lifestyles, mm -hmm. we're always at risk of, of getting into the rat race and getting into the rat rut yeah. and uh, feeling you know, anxiety and depression and all of those emotions that can really drag you down and wonder, make you wonder why you're doing it. Who so. are your clients? And then what would the primary concern be that your clients have? If it's women, is it weight loss? If it's men, is it building muscle mass? Like what tends to be the It's men and women. Uh, target age about 35 to 40. Yeah. They've had about two children. They're stressed out to the max, <laughs> to the factor of 10. From work, from work family. Work and family yeah. and just not enough time for themselves. They see themselves deteriorating. Mm -hmm. uh, they're gaining weight by the year. Uh, their waist size are increasing by the year and uh, they're feeling it. They're feeling it psychologically, uh, physically, the whole nine yards. Any ideas? Yes, rest. That's what I normally okay. do. Rest is so important. A lot of people underrate that. There's something called overtraining. Tosca, sure. you've heard of it. Any athlete has yeah. heard of it. What ends up happening is your metabolism actually drops as a self-defense mechanism. So we don't burn the fat. We don't burn the calories that yeah. we want. Not to mention muscle aches, soreness. Also, losing sleep, insomnia is an overtraining symptom. So rest is crucial, very, very important. But I like the TheraBands. They fit in your bag. You can <laughs> actually bring that to the hotel room and pump it up. Backstage. <laughs> Good stuff. We're going to get to the phones. Fernando is on the line. Hi, Fernando. Hi, how you doing? Good. How can we help you out today? Hey, Chris, how you doing? I was a member there at um, Body's Body uh. Die one time, but I didn't last. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I never lasted there. But actually, my whole family was there. Okay. But you were a good guy, Chris. Tell me why you're not there. Well, I, I got discouraged. You guys were too hard, actually. And I got uh, scared myself, which I yeah. should have stayed with it. But anyway, what I need to ask is I, I'm going to the, to the community center now, and I've been running for the last two months on the treadmill. I'm down to about 27 pounds I lost. And I Fantastic. think okay. now i got to start doing the weights. Yeah. But I'm scared to use them. Like, I don't know when to use Like, if I should use them before or after the treadmill. Great question. Or let's just say any cardio, before or after cardio. Should you mix it up? Should you do it? Yeah. Cross training, definitely the most important thing for you to do. Fernando, I love the fact that you've used the treadmill for that first 27 pounds. You're going to hit a plateau if you already haven't. It's time to do some strength training. Sorry yeah. we were so tough on you. <laughs> Next time we won't be so tough. Yeah. We are pretty aggressive, us trainers, let me tell you. But uh, long story short, um, what I'd like you to do is consider uh, scaling down your cardio. And actually, if you're doing one hour, maybe doing 30 minutes. And for the other 30 minutes, doing the strength training I was telling you about. Uh -huh. Always warm up with the treadmill, right. then get into your weights. Do post-cardio. They've shown that if you want to burn and target fat, mm -hmm. you should be doing it after your workout, after you've already burned off those carb calories, those cookie right. calories uh, yeah. with the strength training. Yeah. That's where you, when you need those cookie calories, right? What do you recommend your guys to do? Yeah, I was going to say for men who have the spare tire and they just cannot get the abdominal fat to go away. 
same well, sort of prescription? I can say that the uh, the secret to weight loss has been found. It's not really a secret. It's quite easy. It's it's the input output, the, yeah. the minus and negative. We have to watch how much intake right. we have in our diets, how many calories we're intaking per day, because they add up quick. And uh, it's not prehistoric times. We're not running around chasing no. after a woman and beating up tigers <laughs> and all that fun stuff. So with that said, we really have to be concerned about how many calories we take in. And trust me, the a little uh, snack that you're having probably has uh, yeah. two, three, mm -hmm. four hundred calories that's going to put you over the top into this surplus. Surplus means a surplus of body fat. And it's right. probably going to be abdominal fat if you're a man.